Oh, what a game. What a game. Yeah, Jack Campbell. Total beauty. Soup in the chat, you know. And the former Soup got a couple at the end, right? The Cobra himself, Mikheyev. Now, that was a test, guys. You know what I mean? That was a test. And everything along the season so far that I have said that I hope the Leafs can figure out in time for playoffs because that's what they're going to need to do when they get there. So far, they've done two of them. There's probably a bunch more, too, but I've noticed two of them so far. Solid defense against a really high-scoring team like Tampa. Solid defense, not just the two guys, all five guys blocking shots, buying into it, protecting their net, protecting their goalie, playing serious hockey. I was worried they didn't know how to play that way, and they do. They do, man. Now, they always had the goals. They always had the goals, so as long as they were scoring four or five a game, then okay, you can win goals or you can win games that way. But th they know. They know they have to play this way because they're not going to get four and five every time. Oh, so beautiful defense, right? Um, which makes Campbell's job even easier. And the other thing I was worried that they couldn't do or that they wouldn't be able to be in their style is sealing out a game when you're only up by a goal, Right? If they had won that game, that's really, guys, if you take away, out of respect, you have to take away the two empty net goals against Tampa and treat it like it was a 3-2 win. Because it was. The only reason that Tampa lost that game by, five, you know, 5-2 to two, uh, is because they took the risk. Right? They took the risk. And you would, too. I would, too. We would all be taking risks out there. It's a playoff game. You're trying to seal a deal, right? So, uh, you know what I mean? Respect to Tampa. That's a 3-2 victory, not a 5-2 victory. We got to give the Lightning respect on that one. Um, but I was worried that the Leafs didn't know how to close out games like that because in the regular season, that was when they would have the most trouble, right? The last few minutes of a game when you're up by a goal or two or maybe even three, right? We've seen it. And they sealed the deal, man. They sealed the deal. They did what they got to do. They blocked the shots they needed to block. They took away passes. Oh, it was a beautiful thing. I probably eat too much fast food. It's a beautiful thing, right? Whatever one that is. <laughs> so, I mean, It's beautiful. It is beautiful. That's the point. I'm loving what I'm seeing. There hasn't been a single goal against, uh, the single goal against that I really feel uh, was anybody's fault or should be blamed on. I don't even care about the penalties, anything. Tampa is an elite team, and the goals they score are elite goals. They are doing a darn fine job proving why they're the Stanley Cup champions. So I don't want to hear nothing about the Leafs negatively about anything that's happened so far because, my God, to already have a lead over the Stanley Cup champions twice... In a single series, we're already showing that, you know, this is a team that's meant to be here, right? Win or lose, the Leafs earn the respect right now of Tampa with a game like this. Tampa played a much better game and still lost, right? But only 3-2 to two for being real, right? Does that all make sense, guys? Right? Now, the other thing I noticed was eight penalties in the first two periods, and it looked like same old refs. Here we go, right? Here we go again. But no, in the third period, one penalty. One penalty, eh, guys? So, why? I, I, I don't know why the refs eased off all of a sudden. Because don't tell me, don't tell me the, the both teams really did ease up on, on their penalties that much. Come on. You know what I mean? That, hey, there we go. Mr. Icy Cube, thank you. <laughs> You're coming to the right place. Uh, that call on Muzzin, right? Like, that's got to be the softest hook I've ever seen. The tip of his blade bumped the hand of the guy he hooked or whatever. I, it didn't even affect him. The guy didn't even break stride. He didn't even lose grip with his hands. Nothing. There was literally nothing that happened on that play because of, of Muzzin's move, and they called it. So they were even trying to be sticklers in the third, right? At times. And then all of a sudden, they just backed off. All of a sudden, they just backed off. So I don't know what's up with the refs. I'm not saying that they're biased or anything. I just think they're trying to control the game's excitement somehow. I don't know, maybe a little bit of rubber banding, kind of like Nintendo always does, you know? Play Mario Kart. If you're in the first and your your buddy, the, the remote in the remote control next to you is 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 way behind, the computer players rubber band, man, they collect near the two players. So I always have competition and you always have competition, no matter where we're ranked on the course. Rubber banding. I think the refs kind of do that, if anything. They're always trying to make things interesting. It can be frustrating though, because I think we're starting to spot it, eh? So thanks, man. Thanks for all those follows. Thanks for those cheers. Everybody, man, you're getting loud in there, right? Some new people have come along for the ride too, right? Joining in tonight, Leslie, as always. Uh, Shackberry's here, right? S-Man saying it was Harvey's before uh, for the It's a Beautiful Thing. Yeah, that, definitely. That was my favorite burger joint growing up. So uh, 
I don't know, man. It just seemed weird with the refs. Uh, and, and, and I don't think Tampa should have pulled their goalie with like two minutes left. I think when they had the one goal deficit, they should have waited till the very last minute only because I really think Tampa was already buzzing. Tampa was already buzzing near the end of that third period. They didn't even need to pull their goalie and it looked like they were going to score a couple times. Right, folks? Right? Thanks for that. So I don't know, man. I, I You know, science will tell you three minutes. And I say, that's stupid. They say, why? To lose by one is no different than to lose by two. You're right. But winning or tying is better than losing at all. And if you play my way, you're going to be more likely to at least tie. Get yourself into an overtime and restart. Right? They were buzzing. So I don't, I don't care why Tampa pulled it so early. I wouldn't have pulled the net that early. But what do I know? I'm an old guy in my basement and all these guys with calculators think they know better than me. Right? <laughs> What do you think about that, folks, in the chat, huh? It's better to win than to lose it all. Woo! What a night. You know what I mean? Marner's looking good out there. You know, Matthews is looking good out there. They're all doing the right things, man. They're playing. It's been a solid three games. Even in their loss, I didn't feel like they did anything wrong. They just got beat by an elite team. It's the Tampa Bay Lightning, man. This is no joke. You know what I mean? This is harder than the Habs. This is harder than uh, who they have before that, Columbus. This is harder than they had two years in a row against Boston. It's harder than Washington. This is probably the hardest series they've ever been in so far, this group. This this generation of the Leafs. Uh, so let's give it up for them real quick in the chat. Everybody make a little noise with your little uh, you know, comments or anything, GGs or whatever you want to throw up. It doesn't have to be the money stuff, right? We can have fun here. So, oh boy. All right. That being said, I see a lot of comments here. Crapper Cannoli's now in the house as well, too. I mean, I got to get to these comments. I got to get these comments because you people are so polite, so gracious to let me go on these rants. I love it. This is playoff hockey. This is what I live for. This is my favorite time of the season. And every game you guys are making this real hype for me, and I really, really appreciate it. I think there's even a new high for how many people are sticking around at one time tonight. So, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for following, subscribing, subscribing on YouTube and all that cool stuff. All right. It means a lot to me. Right. Let's go. Go Leafs. Go soup in the chat. Everybody's having fun tonight. All right. Let's get to the comments. All right. What am I missing?